Hmm. Very interesting. Oh, and we got some more of the Jaegers going at it. It is the Northern Jaegers versus Needhog. The Red Constellation. Okay, this is the checkpoint. I never thought we'd be backed into a corner like this. It appears the victory is yours for taking the oh yours for the taking this time. Hmm. Sorry, but what are we doing away with our agreement with the government? What? Hmm. Yeah. And how will you cover the penalty fee? You'd better make up for the loss. You have a lot to answer for after all the trouble you've caused us. Were they working in concert to, like, pretend to... Were they, like, trying to pretend to seem at war with each other? Oh, don't worry. We know. We've known each other for a long time. And we hope this meeting will be the last. Hmm. Operation complete. We will now proceed with our final battle cry. We're, uh, we're already one with death. We have nothing to fear. We'll show them the pride of North Ambria for the last time. Yeah. They're already one with death, huh? Hmm. Oh, Toval and Agate. Well, shit. Yeah, it's not looking good. Those were former Northern Jaegers. I'm sure they hate the Imperial Army, but they must hate the nobility more for occupying them. Tch, the hell do they think they're gonna do? Wait, where'd they store the Marquis' stuff? Hold on a sec, I'll confirm. What? There's no signal! She's got a jammer. Hmm. <laughs> Should be about time. Okay, and a telescope. So she knows what we know. She's seeing, like... Oh, she knows more than what we know. What are those? Are those the railway cannons? Hmm. Yeah, looks like it is a total route. Ooh, looking good. I guess we'll only need to lend a hand at the very end. Nice to see that jamming device worked. And Campanella is here too. Oh, and uh... McBurn! Hey, uh, you're both totally late though. You missed out on a real sexy show. Sheesh, you've really settled into being an enforcer, huh? I don't know. Enforcers tend to slack off more than her. Oh! But at least we're in time for the next act. The next act being Toval and Agate's involvement, or or them commandeering the railway military, uh, the railway cannons. What oh. a hassle! Let's get this started already. They're testing it. <laughs> we'll need to take great care not to disturb the summer festival. Or. They're either going to completely destroy those? Whoa, The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 3. This is truly an honor. Yeah. Here, a reward. Grail Locket. Keep it up. It could have been better. Razine sends an updated copy of the Black Records. We're going to save and then keep things moving steadily along. But crap, dude. Could have been so much peachier. So much peachier. Field exercises, day three. 4.30 a.m. Talk about rising and shining. Uh-oh! That's not us! Artillery fire! Yeah, it was crazy loud for how far away it was. It's gotta be ridiculously big. Are they firing? The railway cannons! Yup. So we're going to start day three off with this? 
Is it us they're bombarding? Emergency! Everyone to your stations! Bring the comm system up. I want the location of those cannons now. All Panzer soldats, prepare to sortie! Combat tactics, form up. Check your equipment, then double check it. So, why are they attacking us, though? Like, no downtime at all for this. And them, too. So, is it a multi pronged attack? <laughs> Such firepower. Those are the new Rhineford Railway Cannons. The ones Marquis Ballad commissioned for the Imperial Army? Sounds like they're to the east. Maybe 800 cells away. Good stuff, Gaius. But that would be... The canyon! Ballastine here. Okay, Tolval and Agate checking in. <sighs> I finally got through. What are... Like, guys, what happened? Their hair is styled the same way, too. I just noticed that. <laughs> wow. Agate, are you okay? Yeah, we're fine over here. But all four of the railway cannons ballot commission were stolen. Seems like they got moved to the canyon north of Raquel. Well, he can kiss the, the, the dukedom goodbye after this. Right where that cryptid showed up. How could they possibly have moved the railway cannons there? Well, they do have Caterpillar track vehicles that can run on their own. Even with those, is it really possible? The Ion, dude. Heard from one of Ballad's soldiers they saw one of those Ions. It just put its hand up and all the railway cannons vanished. Spatial transposition. The White Ion can control space. That's how they moved all four cannons. So we gotta deal with that. But why are they shooting and are they trying to get a bead on us? Yep. Getting closer and closer with each strike. The lighthouse! It's completely gone, dude. How horrible. We must evacuate the citizens at once. I'll head to the canyon. Oh, me too! Then let me join you. I'm going too. The bike should speed things up. Your Excellency, Patrick, we're leaving orders to you. Okay, cool. So it left out the fact that uh that Jellica was there, but Rena's gonna have a huge group with him this go round. I can't think. You can't be serious. You really want to send all our troops into the canyon? Suicide. That's right. We must recapture the railway cannons at all costs. This dude, he didn't even get dressed for this. And they better be unharmed. I spent good money on those cannons. What do you mean, dude? What about protecting Ortis? And we can't just abandon our post here in Juno. What sort of protection can your men offer against those cannons? You can leave the naval fortress to me. My bodyguards will escort me over there post haste. This guy. Damn it. He just wants to hide somewhere he thinks he'll be safe. General. Even if we do send our troops into the canyon, we can't just hand this place over. I'm afraid we must. Marquis Ballot has full authority over the Unified Region's army. So this bad call on his it falls on his head, basically. Though we can't defy him. We must be prepared to respond to any situation. Squads 1 through 8 will deploy to the canyon under my command. Squads 9 through 12 make for Ortis. You're in charge of evacuating the citizens and damage control. Okay, not full compliance with his order. Yes, Commander. That's the best we can manage on such short notice. It's just as she said. We're gonna have to walk a tightrope here. Let's just hope we don't fall. Honestly, at this point, I'm fully be I can fully believe that she is referring to Musa and not Aurelia. Or Claire, actually. He was talking with Claire, wasn't he? Hmm. Claire Muse, one or the other. But now us. Lecter! He was somewhere close by to be able to see what was going- All right. It's time for your orders. Yeah. 
The government hired Needhog, and Needhog failed, which means the Northern Jaegers are now in control of the railway cannons. And, with the help of Ouroboros, they've taken the canyon and have commenced an assault on Ordas. They may lack resources, but they have four of those cannons, meaning they can fire once every five minutes. It's a complete bombardment. Ugh. I can't believe you waited until things got this bad to share any information with us. <sighs> well, with the society at large, we couldn't be too careful. Anyway, we've got a job to do. Yep, it's time for us to clean up this mess. Ashen Chevalier, Reen Schwarzer. The following orders are on behalf of the Imperial government. Uncover the goals of the society and the Jaegers and restore order to this land. Understood. Perfect timing! All right, and now our backup is coming. Yep, which means it's time Andy, for us. Instructor Sarah! About to leave the little kitties behind. And you guys too! I'm headed for the canyon. What's the situation with the railway cannons? Once every five minutes, Yusis, this place is gonna crumble to dust. You coming along, Rain? Yeah, let's do this. Then we're in too. Uh. And together we can. No, you guys will stay here and stand by. But. It's not gonna be like with the Soul Shrine. Seriously? You're leaving us behind again? It's not that. Think about it. The railway cannons are dangerous, but they're only part of the problem. Last night, that thing carried the cannons away, and we don't know where it might turn up next. So he's trusting them. L that's right. To defend this place in their stead. We'll need to be ready in case that white machine comes to us. So get prepared and stand by. Like it or not, those are your orders. Good luck, Class 7. Yes, yes, sir! Okay. Time to get this show on the road. Not gonna see them again until it's time for the beginning of the game, which is today instead of yesterday like I thought it was gonna be. This is the last stand of those Jaegers who've lost their home. Those damn idiots. I think I get it now. Why the government had Needhog fight the Northern Jaegers for a month straight? No matter who comes out on top, the government wins! Yeah, if the crisis is stopped, the government gets all the credit. If not, the Unified Regents' army gets all the blame. At worst, Ordis would be ruined, and the nobles lose their biggest remaining stronghold. I can't believe they'd go that far. Everything's going just like the Chancellor planned. And on top of that, Ouroboros is carrying out their experiments. When and whatever the Black Workshop's objective is, too. It's a tangled web of different plots. We'll need to figure out the knot in the middle of them all. You're right. So we're gonna... Reen and the others headed to the canyon as fast as they could. By the time they reached Raquel, most people were still asleep in their beds. How have they not heard this? Hmm. Well, I guess it's better that the panic hasn't started. It'll make it easier for us to move through the streets. 5, 10 a.m., 40 minutes since the attack began. Well, never mind that. What? Goddess, please save us! This is the end of the world! Everyone, I need you to stay calm. They aren't targeting Raquel, so you're in no danger! The RMP! They're here! Indeed, Major Claire put in a formal request. However, we're just a single squad and have no one to spare for the canyon. We'll take care of that. Could your team focus on keeping the citizens calm? Not a problem. The railway cannons are in the uh, the railway cannons are in a canyon to the north. The provincial army should be here to assist us soon. Take care. Hmm. This is an emergency. We're just going to have to force our bikes through. We'll need to head up over the hill. Let's hurry. Woohoo! Out of the way! Coming through! Sorry! And there's nothing... Okay, I just wanted to be a thousand percent sure. Uh, probably going...
going to drop Milium for... It has been a while since we fought with her, but... Let's do this. And then these enemies... Shots fired! Distance approximately 800! We need to move! Yeah! That unity of purpose, dude! And probably an enemy is gonna get in our way. Okay, a new path for us to take. We need to get out of here. Yeah, let's hurry. So a Jaeger battle is probably going to be first up. All right. The animals. Whoa! Military monsters. Let's wipe them out. Right. Give it your all. 3 BP. Reen's going to open up with one of these. Saber Cougar. Yeah. Saber Cougar, level 40, an agile military monster used by Jaegers. It relentlessly targets vital areas with its blade. It's my turn. And then you are going to do the same thing. So we will eat a few turns Hot. of damage. Well, at least until Reen acts again. Crimson Cougar, level 41, a large military monster used by the Red Constellation. It has a powerful physique with surprising agility. Let's go! Alright, let's see how much that works out for you. White decoration, 8 turns, 90% damage reduction, noble rise, an attack formation that greatly increases damage dealt and power within, like his noble command, 12 turns of plus 20% uh, damage, and then break damage plus 200%, restores 80 HP, or 80% HP, but it costs 4. Hmm. Um. Let's just have Reen issue this. Let's go! Raging fire formation! It's my turn! And then one of these. Crimson Slash! Get some. It's down! There! Alright, Gaius can definitely take a hit, though. You. It would have been preferable if I he dodged you. that. And we got zero order. So let's issue this. Scatter your foes! Light speed flash! It's my turn. Um, let's do a thunder vortex for I'll these guys. The <laughs> Very well. All right, arc blade slices through foes. Ooh, treasure, uh, treasure sword. Which I never understood why treasure sword could inflict freeze, but. Complete immunity. A Aeolus Saber. He's upgraded from Crystal Saber. But let's go with a treasure sword. On your knees. An opening. This one's mine. Get some, dude. Leave it to me. And then you, Gale Storm, swallows up a line of enemies. Whoa, nice. Turbulence. But we have to pick a target. And then Thunder Fang, Golden Howl, unleashes Hidden Rage to turn Vitality into CP. So he's gotten an upgrade to his CP charging. Um, if it wasn't already clear, I do have quite the soft spot oh. for Gaius. Now, an opening. Get some, dude. I'm up. Second form. Everybody can get some. Now, let's go, everyone. Leave it to Fine. me. Understood. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice. We can definitely go ahead and end these things. It's my turn. Sit. Just a little bit more. Yeah. And we can get these back for free. Let's move on. We can also take a look at what their orbments are packing. 
Probably not going to be. Yep, still work like a well-oiled machine. Ha! How's that? That breed was striking. They're from the same region as the Northern Jaegers. Naturally, they're used by them. Their core is the strongest, too. That's probably the society who hired them. We don't have time to stand around. That's right. Let's make this like old times. Class 7, move out. Understood. Let's go. Alright, Orbment. Duna Dunamis. Alright. And we can change his up. Okay, recover HP through attacks and crafts. Raises strength and arts attack when battle begins or HP is low. And crit plus 5%. And then Thor, he's got Tempest. Critical rate up as HP drops. Insight status when battle begins. Evasion up 9%. And we're definitely changing him off of Sirius. Well, I guess that actually does gel pretty well with what he does, but... Instead, we will put him subbed to... That's completely useless being subbed to it, so we're not going to do that. Aegis. Attract enemy's attention. Minotauros. Kaleido. Hmm. Uh, we'll just keep him on serious. So this is what was beyond here. And not anything to do with Galleon? We might have had to go 5.40 a.m. We might have had to go to the that other side then. I assumed they wouldn't let us through, and my assumption led us to not getting it. Ah! Not good. All four of them right there! Now would be a pretty good time to have Valimar go ahead and just hop from one to one, cleaving them in two. Crap. Damn. We can't let them get away with this. Yeah, we need to stop them no matter what. Some Jaegers this time. Alright. You guys want to hop up just to get beat down? Be my guest. Here they come. Intercept them and break through. Right. We only have... Yeah. Everybody can get some. First group. That's enough. None of this bloodshed is going to change a thing. The noble army's occupation of North Ambria was exactly what the Imperial government wanted. You have to know that. You're damn right we know. A turncoat like you would never understand. We trudged through hell to protect our homeland. It's too late now to wash the blood from our hands. This is all we have left. The only way we can bury the rage and pain of our loss. We will die here with our heads held high as proud citizens of North Ambria. We will die like Colonel Valestine before us, shedding our blood on foreign soil to save our home. <clears throat> Whoa, you stupid, stubborn idiots! A powerful foe. Have at you! Let's see how powerful they end up being. Northern Jaeger rifle, Northern Jaeger greatsword. Ha! Northern Jaeger greatsword, level 41, a Jaeger equipped with a blade. He throws himself into the fight, eliminating his targets. Very well. When you... Northern Jaeger Rifle, level 41. A Jaeger equipped with firearms. He throws himself into the fight, eliminating his targets. Leave it to me. Let's go ahead and do... Turbulence. Roaring winds? Sweep them away! Let's go! And... 
Helix still has a tiny AoE. But Gale, though. Now! Now let's see what they try to do. Alright, just a spread shot. Very well. He can. He has no way to impede. Let's do this. On your knees. That's the only thing. Got him. An opening. This one's mine. Northern break again. Nope. You won't escape. Massive damage on the counter attack. Go ahead and get nice and close for us. What? Make it easier for everybody else to get in there. One MP to get everybody. Nice. Come on, Gaius. Yeah. Good stuff. No. Won't escape. Leave it to me. And then another. Yeah, let's go for another Gale Storm. Now, an opening. This guy. It's my turn. Let's try another Treasure Sword. On your knees. See if we might. Nope. Couldn't get the freeze. This one's mine. So he's just gonna. Heal them. Well, that was bad. It's my turn. Hmm. We don't need Gale. We can just heal it. Helix strike. It's down. And now, there. Gaius is our only person who can. Uh, oh, well, yeah. that happened. We can attack this guy, but oh well. This one's on the house. Anything to build our CP up. Uh oh. Critical northern break. Only on the one though. Let's go. We can turbulence. Can't get them all though. Uh, let's do this. So Gaius definitely does have some new tricks up his sleeve. Let's go. Yeah, we're definitely not about to let you do that. Crimson Slash! Please get that out of here, dude. There! No pity. Alright, you're done. And then you guys are about to be done. Leave it to me. Though Usus, yeah, he could definitely do to Holy Breath. Those two. They've been taking a little bit of heat. Nice. Thanks. Thanks. Perfect maneuver. It's my turn. Uh, well, you're done anyways. And like, like, it doesn't matter how many times that guy it's moves. It's my turn. And I did not mean to actually attack him. Oh, but he got petrified anyways. He's got a pretty high petrification chance. Or maybe we've just been getting lucky and it's not anything special. Ooh. Uses. Taking the damage. It's my turn. Leave it to me. Nice. An opening! Just go down already, dude. Here's our chance. So little remaining on both it's the break turn. and ah. HP bars. Why you? This is the blade of cool. the eight leaves. Thor reached level six. Ixion Volt. Damage increased by 45% to status enemies. And seal and break damage up. Alright, got it. Hmm. It looked like there was something to the side. <sighs> She's strong. As she should be. She's the colonel's. Uh, we didn't kill them, did we? 
Instructor. Oh boy. That one didn't feel so good. Yeah, but now's no time to cry about it. I guess we had no choice. They weren't ever going to yield. The only thing that would have gotten us the victory was killing them. More. All right. They're really not making this easy for us. They will, they will have to cut ourselves a path and pierce right through. Plenty of places for us to go ahead and grab some random stuff. Celestial Balm EX. Definitely okay with that. And we've got more on the horizon. All right. You guys want some next? Be our That's guest. A strong one. Let's kick its ass. And then we've got more of the same. And new levels for Emblem EX. Cross Crusade. And nothing else. <laughs> a matter of course. <laughs> Whoopee! Hmm. Well, we're... It's looking less and less likely like we're meant to ever get our hands on that particular orbment, but... Oh well. And then what do we have? Okay, more Sepith. Never going to say no to that. Mm, I'm not certain if we'll... Well, we'll probably be able to put they it... have the road coding dog. <laughs> then we'll have to force our way through. Won't say no to that. Who wants some next? Alright, looks like it's gonna be another mishmash. Give it your all! This is the blade And of the more eight levels. Regulus reached level 6. Zeruel Cannon. Multiply by 2.75. Woohoo! I need to keep getting better. Yeah, just like that. Getting stronger and stronger with each of these. Uh, they just keep on coming. Lammy, let's knock them off their butts! Aw, Lammy doesn't have a little image. But, yes, honestly, in-universe, it must be super tiring, and these guys are trying to conserve their strength, but, uh, I'm, the levels are flowing fast and free, but, man. Thanks for the help, Eusis. I should be the one saying that. Well, I think we all, all right, contributed to the win here. A matter of the strangest thing is that Gaius doesn't have his S-Craft while Eusis does. Oh well. Guess they couldn't make us too powerful. Well, maybe we shouldn't uh, speak so quickly until we see what we've got in here. Oh boy, it's a treasure chest! Chrono Break SR. Well, we're not gonna put Chrono Break on, ev uh, on anybody. Let's, uh, blind two, hmm, shield two, EP cut two, hit two. What about. Hmm. What are you, uh, break Jake, killing enemies, restores, whatever, whatever. We'll throw cannon onto him. Probably not going to remember to put that back on, uh, onto, uh, what's-his-face until I'm like, why is he healing so little? But we're not gonna have to worry about that. That's a problem for future Pharaoh. Current Pharaoh just needs to worry about, well, we'll drop a save, actually. Because whatever's about to happen is going to get worse before it gets better. Let's go ahead and go up. Ah, see? We didn't even have to do anything with him. Um, modify Orbment. I know those are all already open, just quadruple checking them. Hmm. Ah, well, we're fine. We just drop ourselves a nice little rest here and then be able to move swiftly forward once I fix my earphones, which I managed to knock the little cable out of. All right. So who's the big baddie waiting for us here? That whistle, is it Shirley? The Red Constellation! So now these guys mean business. Look who we've got here. The Purple Lightning and Ashen Chevalier. It's like looking at a buffet. They must be working with the society. 
Let's do this, Lammy! Win grants us strength! This one's strong! Be careful! Right, so we got brand new enemies. We're gonna want to first find out everything we can about them. Yeah. Probably should have issued an iron will or an iron wall formation. Red Constellation Rifle, level 42. A Red Constellation Jaeger equipped with firearms. Slaughters enemies mercilessly with his honed battle prowess. Yeah. Damn you! Yeah, he's not standing for that. Yeah. Damn you! He's got like the anger proc so often. <laughs> Mixed grenade. But you targeted Gaius, uh -huh. which was your undoing. Gaius is basically untargetable. Yeah. Has been since Cold Steel One, or at least the first couple turns of a battle. Red Constellation Greatsword, a Red Constellation Jaeger equipped with a blade, slaughters enemies mercilessly with his honed battle prowess. It's my turn. And then lastly, Usus will drop a battle scope. Oh, we've already taken a look at the Crimson Cougar uh, Crimson Cougars, so. Bellow! Sacred Roar! Alright, so we've seen it's what everybody turn. else can do. Whoa. His has the largest AoE, well, outside of uh Sarah's. Brace yourself! Yes. Huh? Blinding light! Gather in my blade! Iolus Saber! <laughs> One way to put a nice Let's hurtin' go. onto him. And with that, Gale Storm actually is gonna be our best bet. What we're trying Let's to do go. is rack up a lot of this break damage mine. here. Let's go! And Reen is going to get that. The, so the biggest problems are the Jaegers. It's down! Alright. Make sure that none of them can do that thing they like to do. My blade. Calm as Which is use Adamantine water. Shield and Holy breath now. all the time. See how they like this. Ha! Though I will admit, having Seven like Keeper slash. already committed Holy. to people, Keeper and Skull already committed to people, <laughs> makes getting the breaks not as quick, but it's all worth it. <laughs> Earth Pulse. All right, so they got the nonsense coming our Take way. That. Yeah, see. I got this. All right, so Instructor Sarah, as long as she can get a couple of them, <laughs> perfect. Because then she can also do this. All right, get everybody gets some. It probably won't break the last of them. But it's better than waiting around for us to get the northern or watch them do northern break. That make you feel all tingly. Perfect. Leave it to me. During one of the battles, we got uh, love to break it to you. This uh this um what should I call it? Trophy. I don't know if I showed that or not. It's Probably down. not, but this one's mine. It's pretty nice. It's my turn. All right, we don't need any more. Actually, they're all still up. We actually might want to reissue Sacred Roar. Bella, Sacred Roar. Go ahead and do it again. It's my turn. And let's do a. Crimson Flash, which is the Crimson only thing we've got Flash. that can get all it's of down. them. Or at least most of them. <gasps> See this BS they like Take to pull? That. This Tyrell nonsense? Very well. Alright, well at least you're still broken. An opening! An opening! Like they can Leave take to me. beatings, dude. It's crazy. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go for this. 
Oh. It's down. And then we'll try this. Sarah. Leave it to me. Only the one. You little. Well, never know how many you're actually turn. going to be able to get. Uh, let's keep working on you. It's not like it's the others down. are going to be able to make any moves anytime <laughs> soon. I got this. And she cannot actually impede. <laughs> gonna have to leave that to Reen, basically. Man. My blade, calm as still water. They just like they're they're fighting now. like we do. <laughs> Just have the enemies pounding away action, you just keep dropping your healing arts, trying desperately to hang on. And it's not like we're doing 10,000 damage a pop or anything, so they're definitely coming out of this with a net positive. Yeah, see? An Earth Pulse. He's got that Garbaggio working in his favor. And this guy just straight up used the Tyrell. Very well. Oh, we can arc blade these two. Go ahead and have you guys sit down for now. us really quickly. An opening. Leave it to me. And another one of these. It's my turn. Uh, she is basically just going to have to attack. All right, so now they want to move in nice and close. It's Jeez, dude. Just single-handedly made this so much longer. Sweep them away! It's down! I mean, it was already a done deal. Understood. And we got all three of them this time for some inexplicable reason. You won't escape. And the massive counterattack damage. Uh, you both are basically nearly done. Now. We'll just be able to have Reen deal it's with them. Turn. Yeah, one of these. Get back. All right, it's and down. now suddenly our problems have been reduced to one. This freaking guy. Uh, let's see if we can grind out some crits. I got this. Make our lives a little easier it's that way. Turn. The answer is looking like okay, cool. It's down. But very few on the crits. It's my turn. Nice. Now. An opening. And now we could potentially let this guy have his way with another heal. Well, you know what? That's fine. It gives us the opportunity to basically grind our CP back up for free. Let's go. Yeah. It's, it's not actually, it's not as bad as it, uh, I originally thought it was going to be, actually. To <laughs> be able to make his it's error in judgment there. work for now. us, future us even. There. Because we're not going to have Let's any go. need to use our CP for the rest there. of this entire fight. This one's mine. Ooh, you got to take the boons where Adios deems it necessary <laughs> to dish him out. It's down. <laughs> this is it. You're done. I failed. Got every last one of them and new levels. Thanks for the help. You Damage see. increased by 500%. Evasion plus 6%. That. Begin battles with insight status. Though he doesn't get any of those. Woohoo! I need to keep getting better. <laughs> Whoopee! Yeah, just like. Man, putting us through our paces, that much is for certain. Hmm. That's probably going to be the last one. <laughs> not bad. And they just stood right back up like they're not NPCs. This is going to be more entertaining than I thought. <sighs> How could rank and file soldiers be this strong? They don't call them the strongest corps on the continent for nothing. <laughs> Looks like you're having fun. All right, so Shirley wants this beat down next. Okay, is Blitz going to be uh, going to be supporting her? Bloody Shirley. And that's the Blitz. They've got company too. <laughs> so you remember me, Miss Purple Lightning? We fought a few years ago. Your little sylph feed was very entertaining. I'll be expecting even more from you. Damn it. I'm not here to play around. Hmm. 
So she's a total monster, is she? I can work with that. Good old Jellica. <laughs> I think we're going to get along. You're just my type. And yeah, Shirley definitely knows she can pick him too. Quit screwing around. Okay, so this is... Okay, I was like... The voice seems familiar. Toval, Agate! What took you so long? Sorry, ran into some trouble on the way here. Damn it. Looks like we didn't quite shake him. Whoa. <laughs> Done playing tag already? Ha! Huh. They managed to give us the slip, I'll give them that much. This has almost definitely spiraled quite out of control. Hmm? Did they not expect us? <sighs> Wait, Gaius and McBurn? Why are they staring each other down? Huh. What happened? This looks bad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we got eight people against four railway military cannons, a bunch of Ouroboros, and all of Red Constellation. Yeah, we might be in trouble here. The situation has changed. We'll take care of this. Bold words, Agate. Forget about the Red Constellation. The majority of the Northern Jaegers are concentrated somewhere else. The Stalritter and the White Ion, too. Yeah, it was just a small group moving the artillery. Which raises the question, where is their main force? Juno Naval Fortress. Look, we can't just let the two of you handle this alone. That's, yeah, you guys are good, but all eight of us put together aren't that good. But they won't be alone. Uh, don't recognize this voice. It's Major Michael! Oh! Randy, Major Michael! And the Draken and Spiegel, too! The branch campus is here to support. We brought the Draken, Spiegel, and everyone from Combat Tactics. By the way, we used the booster to get up here. I swear upon the honor of the Schleiden School that we will win this fight. Okay, so definitely having the Panzer Soldats here makes things more tenable. Randy's presence is good too. Oh, nice! Schwarzer, listen up. Good. Now the tides are... We're not going to be swept away completely anymore. We can handle stopping the railway cannons. But there's something I'd like to ask of you in return. Go protect that buffoon hiding away in his inner citadel. Inner Citadel? When you say buffoon, you're not talking about... Oh, we're definitely talking about Big Boy Ballad himself. They must be targeting Juno. Okay. We meet again, Heavy Blade. Guess we redheads gotta stick together. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Randolph, was it? Let's see if you live up to the stories Estelle and the others have told me. <laughs> nice to be working with you, Major Irving the Tenacious. So he's got a moniker too. Zero Artisan Ron Denor. Show me what an A-rank bracer is capable of. Everybody's got one. Just a matter of hearing them for the first time. <laughs> Perfect timing, Dolphy! <laughs> Two A-rank bracers and the Black Whirlwind, was it? <laughs> Thought one of those twerps seemed more interesting than I remembered. But whatever. This should be enough to get me fired up, I guess. More interesting than McBurn remembers. So he's recognized that something about Gaius has changed. Commencing operation! We will stop the four railway cannons! May the winds and the goddess be with us! Advance! Yeah! All right. going at it who oh the arts users facing off against each other I would trust Barty is to take on McBurn what's he gonna do Is he going to sabotage him, or we're not going to get to see it, are we? No, but now, okay, the situation does look way better on that front. Now, are we going to replay the beginning of the mission? 6.20 a.m., the beginning of the game? 
All right, heading back as soon as, uh, as quickly as we can get there. <clears throat> Worried about your students? Yeah. It's understandable. Not only is the Red Constellation here, the Almighty Conflagration is, uh, is as well. Yeah, that guy can take on whole armies solo. Yeah, but the Black Whirlwind is one of the best generals in all of Erebonia. And soldiers in the Provincial Army are all highly trained too. Besides, they've got Toval there with them. You're right. Is this gonna be Toa? And, okay, and Tita. Reen, come in, Reen. Where are you? We're headed back from the canyon. We left things there to Randy, Major Michael, and the Brigadier General. They've engaged the enemy along with Agate, Toval, and all of combat tactics. Agate? And everyone from Class 8? Okay, understood. You need to hurry back. While you were gone, Juno Naval Fortress was attacked! Already? Yes, it all happened so quickly! The White Ion appeared, and then the Stalwarter and the Northern Jaegers were suddenly all over the place! <sighs> so then... I'm sure Class 7 has taken it upon themselves to intercede. Probably gonna see, yep, earlier, the lead up to it. Everything's quiet on this front until that appeared. Yep, here you go. And there they are. Well, there she is. Nope. And we've got Ines the Stout. And this should be Anea the Sharp. Ah, uh, yeah. Those guys are having a time of it. They've just suffered defeat after defeat. Hmm. And you! I'd be I, I was thinking of taking a nap when this... this... I'd be surprised if Ballad got through this alive. Adios! What have I done to deserve this? Are you serious right now? Sloth and greed are sins. Know that you will never take hold of the largest territory of the Empire. What? Wow. You better feel graced by Adios herself, dude, because not many people get to be di uh, addressed directly by Arian Road. <laughs> what? Oh, is she in that thing? No, she's not. I won't let you go. Well. Rasta girl. How dare you treat the next Duke Cayenne with such a rough hand! You really don't understand what's about to happen, do you? What leader abandons his people, his comrades who attended the council, to save his own pitiable life? Goodness me! You're a disgrace to the nobility! Thank you for giving us a place to die. We may at last have revenge for the fall of Haliask. You needn't give us your thanks. You still must fight to receive your end. Please, show me your final resolve. Okay. Basically confirms a running theory, but... Whew. Now, it should be Class 7. We see what was going on on Aryan Road's end. Nope. Ah. Tilly! New Class 7! So we met up with them beforehand. There you are! Instructor Toa gave us permission to meet you. That makes sense. This too was the will of the wind. We understand what's at stake. I cannot stand idly by while my home is in crisis. Yeah, we'd go even if you told us not to. I'd expect nothing less. I promised you I'd let you help and I intend to honor that promise. Just make sure that none of you fall behind. Right. Understood. 
So we're gonna go there as one. The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 3. Probably strike separately though. Like we know we split up. It just hasn't happened yet because we've just now reunited. Whew. Gotta make sure nobody dies. Except Marky Ballad, 6.50 a.m. Wouldn't care if Marky Ballad died. How can this be? It's been taken. They got in there. A hundred thousand soldiers couldn't take that this. That one's Ouroboros' emblem. And the other one is... I'm almost certain it's the former North Ambrian emblem. The former North Ambrian emblem. But a hundred thousand soldiers couldn't take this place, but Aryan Road and a very determined fallen Jaeger Corps could. It is. It belonged to the house of the ruler who abandoned the country 28 years ago. But to use Prince Ballman's emblem must mean... They didn't want to cause trouble for the people back home who became part of the Empire. Okay, make it... They, they want to make it known that the current Ambry has got nothing to do with this. But they still want to show their pride. So stupid. Hmm. Oh! There's Zephyr! Meathog too! And the masked man. <sighs> so they want to fight right before we get into the nitty gritty. Huh. <laughs> Only been a couple of days, but how you been? You made things pretty nuts for us in the canyon. If only we'd been quicker. I had a feeling you might be here. I didn't. There's another experiment, just like the ones carried out in Sutherland and Crossbell. And Zephyr and the gnomes are here trying to stop it. It all makes for a pretty pattern. Testing out ions that shouldn't be able to move and setting the stage for a clash of the ages. Come to think of it, the last time and the time before that. It's all coming together. The point of these experiments isn't destruction then. It's the battle itself. They're putting in place the conditions needed to force their opponents to fight. <laughs> I'm impressed you figured it out. All of us will take care of things this time. All right. The Stall River and the soldiers from a dead land should make worthy opponents. We've signed a new contract with Zephyr, separate from our deal with the government. We may have lost in the canyon, but we'll make up for it soon enough. Sorry, but you guys just aren't needed this time around. Trying to prevent us from getting in? Well, it's a foregone conclusion, Rutger. Even if we've got a steamroll right over you guys to get there. If you want to get yourself some front row seats to the show, I won't tell anyone. Kiss my ass. There you go. In what world do you think I would accept that? Then what will you do? Hey, uh, if we actually lose, then feel free to jump in. Not like that'll happen, though. But we can't allow you to go in and handle things in our stead. If you've got any complaints, go right ahead and let us hear them. I could use the warm-up. What kind of weapon is that? Uh, what power? It's why he's called the Jaeger King. Huh. <laughs> You're gonna need a leader this time. That is if you're planning to take on the Maiden. <laughs> yeah, we would rather not fight her again. Not unless she goes easy on us. I wouldn't say no to that. You're already smack dab in the middle of a battlefield. And in battle, if you don't have a leader, you're dead. Sure, you've got the Purple Lightning, Schwarzer, and one of the bigwig nobles on your side. However, none of you can truly be called a leader. Okay. I feel like Yuna is going to ascend to that position for Class 7. It would be weird if it was anyone but her. Uh, that's... <laughs> you say... Then I will be happy to fill that role. Oh, really? Uh... Dude! That's the Noble Alliance's... It's over! The General's airship! Oh, it is over for you guys. The Le Guin family's airship, Balclutha... Well, well, well. She actually showed up. What? Principal. Old Man Schmidt's here too? <laughs> oh, this is too much. <sighs> Dude, maybe her and Wallace together could take on Aryan Road, but separately, I don't see it. This some kind of joke? Well, 
You have your leader now. You must be the Rakshasa. I always wondered what kind of beast you were. Turns out you're damn pretty. I know about you too, Jaeger King. I'm honored to make the acquaintance of a man I thought was long dead. Now make way, if you would be so kind. Come on now, we were here first. Well, that's true. I already had to wait my turn in Raquel. What makes you think I'll step aside for you? Because we're about to make you. Because it is my right. Oh, I guess this was her fort first. So if we want to talk about, uh, we want to talk about first rights, I mean. Huh? Though things are different now, this fortress was once mine. I gifted it to my right-hand man. I can't forgive them for taking it over in his absence. And lest we forget the obvious, this is war, and you are my enemy. I would bend you to my will regardless. Jeez. Now out of my way, unwanted guests. If you still refuse to move, then I'll clear a path through you. <laughs> Be honest. That was a nice speech and all. But why not come out and say you're dying to fight that woman? He can sense it. He can sense what she really wants. <gasps> <laughs> I can't deny it. All right. I don't mind giving my spot in line to a beautiful woman. I'm going to let this one slide. You hear that, Purple Lightning? Which means we don't have to fight. Thank you, Aurelia. Working miracles yet again. They seriously stood down. My dad told me what you were like. Said you were a tricky son of a bitch, but you knew right from wrong. That's some compliment. The Colonel helped me out a lot when I was starting up Zephyr. I'd to visit his grave again. Well, good luck. Have fun. Thanks for that. Aurelia showed up and they stood down. Now that's commanding a presence. If you lose, we'll be here to pick up the slack. Hmm. They're just walking past us. <laughs> Not you, though. We got questions for you, Siegfried. Uh, the resemblance is even more apparent up close. You're up against a living legend. Her extremely powerful subordinates and soldiers from a dead land. The Golden Rakshasa aside, let's see how Class 7 fares against this challenge. I'll be watching from the sidelines. We'll do everything we can to impress. Fine by me. Enjoy the performance. <laughs> I'm not class seven, but if you want a show, you've got one. There they go. <sighs> that was utterly nerve wracking. Ha! <laughs> what a pointless exchange. And of course, Schmidt. Guy wouldn't have to do any fighting, so he's not phased. Professor Schmidt? Whatever made you come here with the principal? It's my guess that this will be the culmination of Ouroboros' ion experiments. And he wants to see those with his own eyes. I'd like to see for myself what it's capable of. Herschel briefed me, so I understand our position. I would be a fool to miss my chance to challenge a legend. Let's see if you're everything I've dreamed you are, Steel Maiden. Is she gonna be on our party though? Probably not, but could you imagine? That white ion intrigues me. The ability to interfere with space, of all things. I will observe from here. Well. These two are as crazy as ever. <laughs> I know, right? I can't get enough of it. With all due respect, Principal, we're acting as Class 7. How about we just call this an alliance between us? Is that all right? It's like, I've got no problem with that. Of course. You may wield my title of general as you see fit. Speaking of titles, I'm looking forward to seeing your power, Purple Lightning. <laughs> no pressure, right? Okay. The battle in the canyon seems to be intensifying. We're probably gonna split up. We don't have time to waste. Let's begin. As someone who used to own this place, you'd know the layout best. How should we approach this? Two forces, one splitting off from the side, one coming from another side. <laughs> Good of you to ask. It was once the headquarters of the Noble Alliance. The inside is like a labyrinth. Should make a pretty good dungeon. On top of that, 
There's a mechanism that forces invaders to split their ranks to enter. That seems specific. How do you manufacture something like that? How? Yeah. Doesn't matter how. We just know we'll need to split up. I want you to choose how to divide us between the first and secondary teams, Schwarzer. Do the teams not have to be all non-class 7 and all class 7? Can we... Huh. I would note that the first team's course to the castle tower will be considerably more dangerous, and they will arrive there first. Assign your best to that route. All right. So that's how we got to do this. Is it going to make us pick like in the third or how's this going to go? 7.15 a.m. Not going to jump right into it. Going to get a scene first. So we'll, we'll find out. Oh, never mind. Okay. There's no one here? No, that can't be right. I would assume everybody got defeated. The grass. Did they get what happened? Oh, okay. My first thought, they got warped away. But we don't know how the Pleroma grass works specifically. So far, it's only been cryptids appearing and nothing disappearing, except for defeated cryptids. Could that mean? Ah. You want huh. some? The beast like cryptid from yesterday. <laughs> Is this Ouroboros' is doing? So they have a watchdog sniffing around here. Let's split into an attack and support. No need. Aurelia's gonna stay and fight this thing by herself. Aw. We were almost there. Rakshasa Onslaught. Or she's gonna defeat it in a single attack? Or she could do that. Incredible. The power of the Golden Rakshasa. Wowee! The intel I got from the Intelligence Division did not do her justice. And eviscerated in one slash. Good stuff. <laughs> that was but a trifle. The battlefield awaits us. No time to get lost in thought. We still have a chance! Lead the way, Schwarzer. Very well. Dude. Thor's military academy's class 7, as well as our allies, will be split into two groups for the course of this operation. This won't be easy, with our targets being Ouroboros, the Stalrider, and the Northern Jaegers. Ready? Then let's move out! Yeah! Okay, time for us to go ahead and get the jump on this. That, though, is all going to be next time, so definitely join me then for more of The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 3. Bye for now, guys.